Hi, I'm John, and I like to relax. He, he really, really does. does. And I'm Tammy, and I like to explore. She he really does. does. And I'm Austin, and I like to repeat. He really, he really does. does. And, and together, together we, we are Relax, relax Explore, explore repeat. repeat. We're in the town of Seal Rock, Oregon. We're in Seal Rock State Park. We're going to look at some rocks. Maybe one of them looks like a seal. I don't know. Uh, it's 55 degrees outside today. A little yeah. foggy. I think it feels cold, but it really doesn't. It right doesn't. I, We're not feeling any wind, so. Yeah, there's no wind yet, but it may be chilly on the beach. So, who's that? Switch the camera. This is cool. They can see what we're seeing as we see it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a fence. Oh, my. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Does it look like you can go down there? No. Not from here. Huh. Wow. That's cool. This is low tide right now. Yeah, this is low tide. We're getting, approaching low tide. Huh. Yeah, I wish we could get down there. That's cool. Here we go. We're going to walk along this little path and see, see where the seagulls poop. Oh, maybe in one of the rocks just had, it doesn't necessarily look like a seal, but there were seals spotted here. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get down there. No, we've come to the end of the trail. There are some steps and stuff over there. Ah. Something. Did they, there's some people. Oh, okay, let's, there's those people. We're going to go down there. <laughs> we can't get there from here, but there's another path that goes down to the beach, so yeah, we can go uh, up and around. So that's where we're going. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Don't touch that dial. Okay, I'll keep the camera on so you can see. This is a neat looking, neat looking vegetation through here. Thought it was going to be a boring walk, but not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't forget your face mask while you're out enjoying the fresh air and sunshine. Sunshine. There's no sunshine. Oh. That's why you need a mask. Because there's, oh, there's no sunshine. All right, here we go. Well, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. No, I have sunshine on a cloudy day. You carve your name in the side of the sand hill. Yeah, it is. Disturbing seabird colonies is illegal. There's a path that goes over there, but I don't know if it's a legal uh, bird's nesting area close to public. It looks like there's a well-worn path over there to that up there. The place you're not supposed to go? Yeah, to the place you're not supposed to go. <laughs> Someone enjoying the cold water, screaming.
Seal Rock at low tide. It's a good place to see sea life. Still recording, I guess. We have another one. Tammy just did a search for to find out how long starfish could live out of water, and it said about 28 hours. So the tide will be back in before a couple of times in 28 hours. So they'll be fine unless somebody messes with them. Some cool tidal pools over here. Uh, picture of her, it didn't happen. There it goes. Waterfall. Instant waterfall. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We came to what we thought was a dead end, but upon further exploration, there seems to be a break in the rocks that may go over to the other side. This is cool. Yeah, Tammy the Explorer. John was busy relaxing, not doing anything. Tammy the Explorer said, hey, look over here. We can get through. As did someone else. It opened up on the other side of the crack. And there's more beach and more rocks more fog and a motorcycle going down 101 up there
Okay, I've seen several of these things. These clear, goobery things. I think this is what you call a deep sea snot rocket. Probably what happens when a, a fish sneezes. It's deep sea snot rocket. There's a bunch of people in the shot of that big rock or scale boulder at the base right there. See how big that thing is? Do you love the beach? I love the beach. I give it a heart. We dressed warm today because the weather said it was 55 degrees out. Um, in Seaside, we just left, there was like a constant sustained breeze coming off the water, usually at least 20 miles an hour. So 55 would have felt like 45. Here, we're freaking sweating <laughs> because it's nowhere near as cool or windy. But anyway, yeah, 55 and we're hot because we wore long sleeves.